you showed up on the scene and their life have not been the same since. Good morning, guys. I am so glad that you are here with me on today on this beautiful Sabbath day. Well, listen, I hope that you're taking the time, first of all, to really connect with God, that infinite source of love, intelligence, just that greatness that God has today. I just hope that you're doing that. And I want you to know because of your divine connection to the infinite source of our creator that you have showed up in somebody's life <clears throat> and their life has not been the same since. I want you to understand that you are a glitch in this system. Hey, come on somebody. And when God created you, he created you to be this massive ray of light to wake people up. I want you to understand that the reason why they look at you and stare at you when you walk into the room is because of who you represent. I want you to know that you are a representative for the kingdom of heaven in this dark place. And I want you to know that there is somebody acting real weird and real, real funny towards you because you have shown up on the scene and when they look at you, they see what God wants them to be. When they look at you, they see what they've been hiding. When they look at you, they see the wrong that they've been doing. When they look at you, they see the potential in them because of God radiating through you. Come on, somebody. They ain't been the same since. Many people have entered in and out of this person or this per these persons, their lives, but never have they had an encounter like the encounter that they have had with you. I'm telling you, you are the light switch up in this matrix system, baby. I want you to know that your light is shining so bright in the midst of you feeling like you ain't nothing. I want you to know that you're all of that and then some because you were created to change this whole dynamic on earth. I want you to understand that it is things going on, people talking about thought, the thought movement and all this stuff. I want you to understand that I have been studying quantum physics and been studying how the mind work for years. I want you to understand that I have been involved in neuroscience and neurolinguistic programming since the mid 90s. I'm telling you that people were saying all kinds of crazy about me talking about it, but I want you to know because you of the work that you're doing in this earth, I want you to know that people on major platforms are now writing books about the mind. They weren't studying the mind the whole time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they understand that in order for them to stay relevant, all right, that they're going to have to change with the time. I want you to understand that you represent something new. You represent that new wine. I want you to understand that you can't ever pour new wine in old wine skins. You can never take an old garment and put something new on it because it'll rip it apart. I want you to understand that you represent the new way of doing things. And the reason why you represent newness is because you're connected to the Savior of newness, which is Jesus Christ. He was that new wine that they didn't want to really acknowledge but there was something about him that captivated people, the massive crowds. It was something about what he represented that was different from anything that they ever heard about. It was something about the way he moved, the way he talked with such authority, the humbleness, the way that he served that really changed everybody around them. And because you are divinely connected to him spiritually, you are that mere reflection as well. The God in you, Christ in you, has shined through so massively, just radiated so bright that those people, that person is not the same since they have had an encounter with you. It comes across like they don't like you or it comes across like they are avoiding you. It comes across like what is wrong with you. But it's nothing wrong with you. 
It's the spirit that you have nurtured so much, the spirit of God that you've nurtured on the inside of you. It literally scares the hell out of them. What you represent, when they look at you, they see a reflection of everything about them all the way down to the core. I'm telling you, when you walk into a situation because of the spirit that you have, people feel convicted on the inside of their entire being. I'm telling you, you haven't said a word, but it is because of the spirit of the Lord that lives on the inside of you. When they look at you, they see they dirty. I want to repeat that one more time. When they look at you, they see they're dirty because of who you are connected to. I'm telling you that they hadn't been the same since they had that encounter with you. And I want to encourage you on today because I understand how it is to be called weird or be treated differently or not be included. Trust me, I get it. I've experienced that. But your uniqueness and your weirdness or whatever they want to call it is the handprint of God all on top of you. And don't you ever get discouraged because you walk into a situation and people, they shun you or they act like something is wrong with you. It's because of the spirit that lives on the inside of you. It shows them they're dirty. It shows them potential too. It shows them things that they should have dealt with years ago that they ran from. That is who you represent. So when you go about your day on today, I want you to give God some glory and tell him thank you for trusting you enough to reside on the inside of you. Because I tell you the truth, baby, we got so much work still to do. Mwah! Peace. And I believe in you. Bye now.